they're going to pull the goaltender right now. Karen Milan is out. There is an empty net for Boston University. Jackie Parker is going to roll the dice with seven, with 3.30 left to go. The extra skater is out there. Colby Cohen had it, lost it along the wall. They get it back, McCarthy. And they're cleared out. It'll be chased down by Cohen. Cohen back in behind that empty net. Shattenkirk came back to get it. Shattenkirk, Cohen. Dumped in along the near side by Bonino. Bonino, McCarthy, far side, Cohen. Trying to hold it in, McCarthy. Benino will send it around the near boards. Only one back on the blue line right now with this extra skater. They're putting everybody to the net. Schilling ran it up the wall. Not out. Gets a little help. Vogelhuber got it out of there. Great play by Vogelhuber. Not so cute. Just chipped it up the wall. Got a change. Got five fresh guys out. Empty net at the other end. Sent deeper into the zone by Benino. Hit put on by Higgins as he went by. Puck kicked in front. Shot from the point. That one got blocked. Cohen wound up trying to get it. Cohen stepped up to hold it in off the dasher. Now it's driven out. Back to get it, Gilroy. He'll chase it down in his own end. 2.20 left to go. Third period. Miami trying to win their first national championship in any sport. They lead it 3 to 1. They were the underdog in this game. Cleared up the wall. Arsofsky stepped up. That empty net longing for them. And it's going to be brought in offside. Boston University all year long has been the winner in virtually everything they've done. Every tournament they entered. The icebreaker, the Wells Fargo in Denver, the Bean Pot in Boston, the Hockey East Championship and the Northeast Regional Tournament. They won every one of them. This one they are trailing three to one. Put the goalie back in for the faceoff outside their blue line. He'll be going to the bench as soon as they get it in Miami Den. Banged off the wall, far side by Lawrence. There you see the goaltender back in. Milan played it and not very well off the far side. Stephens was there to get it. Stephens has got one of the goals. Cleared into the middle but not out of the zone. Melee had dumped it in and it'll be up and out. With the other end, goaltender heading to the bench. Shot just wide. Their leading goal scorer, Lawrence, with a chance. Empty net at the other end again. Played back in by Higgins. He got it down low. Weber intercepted. Weber cleared it around. Thomas Honey didn't get it out. What a chance down low. Shot goes wide off body. As Conley had the chance, standing right on the doorstep, it hits off the top of the glass, and they say it went out. And now everybody's screaming about where they want the face off. Now, I like this play by Rico Blasi. He's not going to call a timeout. You might say, Argo, why doesn't he call a timeout, settle his team down, get fresh guys out there? If you do that, you do the same for the other team. You let Jackie Parker get another uh, board session with his team. You let them uh, regroup. You give them a blow, too. So this is a good call by Rico, not calling a timeout. 119 left to go on the faceoff. Boston University wins it. A shot, bounce, and a save made. Maybe none bigger. Brandon Yip the chance. Rebound shot wide by Shattenkirk. Boston University with the extra skater getting chances. Yip takes it behind the net. Dropped it off. Backhander. Save made. Held the post. Rebound in the middle. They score! I think McCarthy. There were three Terriers. And it is a 3-2 game with 59.5 left. Gary, Miami had a couple of chances to clear that puck. It was on their sticks. They fumbled it. They didn't get it out. They weren't strong with it. You got to get it out when you're six foot five. There's the hit. There's the one chance. Now, right there, Miami has the puck. You see him lose it. Schilling, who's one of their most solid defensemen, that's got to be on the wall. It's got to be around the wall when you get it. Watch right here. You see record just off the post a little bit, right in here. He's given a little bit of room, and it goes right underneath his arm. Credit it to Conley as that uh, as Zach Cohen, brother. Credit it to Cohen as it did not come back to McCarthy. Benino and Yip at 19 minutes. Now they need one more. Goalie heads to the bench. Shot wide by Lawrence. Over to get it is Wilson. Empty net at the other end. Boston University still down a goal. Benino sent it to the near side board. They're looking up to the point. Orsowski will send it back to Wilson behind the net. Wilson pinned up along the boards. Great play. 
play by Weber. Cut freed up though. Terriers on the move. Off the near side, Warsawski. Centering backhander Wilson wide. Rebound held on to. 20 seconds. In the middle. Pass. Score! Unbelievable! Boston University has scored two goals in the last minute and has tied this game at three. Just sheer talent, Gary. BU's talent showed right there. They didn't panic with the puck. They made great decisions. They just didn't shoot it. Great backdoor play right there. Most players in the slot right there. Gilroy got it. Most guys would have just blasted it. But Matt Gilroy makes a beautiful pass over to Benino. That's what talent gives you, man. Great, great goal. What a final minute, and we are not done yet. This is now tied at 3-3. Obviously, goaltender back in. Intercepted, turned up the other way, Vogelhuber. Vogelhuber in. Vogelhuber shot. Save me! Rebound was loose! And it's oh. covered up. Oh. Milan had a reach behind him. I'll tell you, Milan is he's fighting the puck. He fought it on Thursday. He's fighting it again this afternoon. We talked about it. He was having trouble catching the puck. Right here is just a wrist shot from the side. Now watch it. Hits his body. He doesn't know where it is. Misses with his glove. In between periods, if it goes, well, it's 1.1. They just got to talk about shooting the puck on the line, shooting the puck on the line. The goal at the 19-minute mark that made it 3-2. to two. Cohen got it from uh, Benino and Yip. Then Benino from Gilroy and Yip at 19.42 to tie the game up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're going into overtime. Boston University scoring two goals in the final minute of the third period has given themselves a chance in overtime 3-3. Three, three. Well, again, Miami, we talked about they had chances to clear it. They didn't clear it. And when you put it on a guy's stick like Gilroy or a guy like Benino or a guy like Wilson, it's going to come back and haunt you. BU handled the pressure well. They handled the situation great. They got the shots for people they wanted. And they made great plays on both goals. Excellent, excellent job by BU. They never panicked. They had a plan, they talked about it, and they executed. Right here, there's the one goal. Record's not against the post. You see his right arm give a little bit of space, and the goal goes in by Cohen. Okay, right here, you're going to see Gilroy come in. As I said, most players would have just blasted it. He has a presence of mind to go back door to Benino. Benino has a quick one-timer, and he finds it back to the net. Great execution by BU. Look at that bench. Benino with a goal and assist in the final minute. When Benino scores a point, BU is 23-0-3 this year. Benito's got two. I guess they should have had a man in Benito tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They'll take the full time here between periods as we will get set for an overtime here in the Division I College Hockey National Championship game. It is a barn burn. Hi, I'm John Shear, CBS.